Hey everybody, it's Shannon. Welcome to part three in our Arabic tattoo video series. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what to do when you have a bad Arabic tattoo, like how to fix it and can it be fixed? What do you do? Because I feel like there's so many videos out there just showcasing Arabic tattoos, like haha, look what this one says, and articles, stuff like that, but nobody really talks about how to fix the situation, like how to get yourself out of this. And when I talk about bad tattoos, I mean, I'm thinking like ones that are like in reverse, like it's like a mirror image of what it should be. I'm thinking about the ones that are like backwards and the letters are disconnected and doesn't make any sense at all. And I'm also talking about tattoos that maybe they were right at the time, like maybe it's your ex-boyfriend's name or something, and now you're regretting it. So how do you get yourself out of that situation? How do you fix it? Can it be fixed? And before I continue, I want to say first of all, thank you, thank you so much to everybody who has order translations from us. It really means a lot. Thank you for supporting a small business. We love helping you out. I especially love it. I think I've had some great, yeah, you guys are great. I mean, some great challenges too. Um, and that's kind of what inspired this video actually are our clients. So uh, thank you for continuing to, to order from us and, and please spread the word, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. A little bit about me, as I've said before, I'm a translator, I'm, I'm also, I'm an Arabic linguist now. I recently finished a job with the military a few months back. This video was inspired by a few of our clients. I mean, we have people who maybe they hadn't heard of us, they hadn't seen YouTube videos about it, they just didn't go into their tattoo, the tattoo parlor with full information and so, that's what really yeah, gave me the idea for this video is the client. So thank you again to you guys for helping you know, inspire this video of how to fix the tattoos. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, number one, we have had a couple people who, I'm thinking of one in particular, the most recent one. There was somebody who had a tattoo who, it was like, it was on their, their maybe like the inner arm, but it was reversed. So it was like, okay, you see this blanket, my sister, my, one of my younger sisters gave this to me as a Christmas gift a couple years ago. I love it. Um, but so the tattoo, it was like this. So like if you hold it in front of a mirror, it'll be right. But when it's on you, it's like you can't, no nas, you know, you can't really read it, right? And so that's what this person had. I, it, I think it was like maybe yeah, like right here, like on the forearm. So. Not many people could see it unless I guess she's like raising her hand in class or whatever. And for these, like, can it be fixed? Can you make it into something else? I think it really depends on how long it is and, and what it looks like. I mean, I gotta see it, but this one was kind of long. And I think maybe what happened was like, somebody had written it or, you know, you write from right to left. So it was written down correctly. And then, you know, like when you're in school, they have those like tracing paper thing. Are you like the transfer? And so maybe somebody had like written it and it was correct. Then they have like, okay, let's rub it. And then we'll have the outline for the tattoo. But you know, you read from right to left. So it, yeah, it didn't end up being in reverse. Maybe that's how it happened is what I'm assuming. But anyway, so how do you fix that? Yeah. I mean, for in, in that one, cause it was pretty long. I was like, Hey, you know what? And it's not many people would see it unless you kind of go like this. And so you could just argue that, Hey, it's like, a personal thing and it's only you know me when I'm in front of the mirror I see it and, it and you read it on the mirror perfectly like you know it's like a you know you could argue it that way that it's, oh, it's not really wrong it's kind of like it's meant to be this way so I can only read it in front of a mirror so it's like just for me maybe <laughs> um, but in cases like that yeah like it depends on what it is you could, I would just view it as like hey this is my little treasure just for me and that's why I did it that way as if it's like in a secret way I don't you know you, you can you can spin it that way <laughs> and then and there were a couple other cases yeah where it's just like it's backwards and it's disconnected you know like I said like the Photoshop Arabic when people try to put something in Photoshop and and they don't have I guess the world languages installed or something but it, it looks off in Arabic I'll show you some examples here but those are a lot harder to fix and in those cases, like especially if it's like the longer it is, the harder it is to fix, the harder it is to make it into something else. But in, in if it's, yeah, I, usually I would say for something like that, I would get like a calligrapher artist, like people who actually do art. Like, I mean, I do just, I do translation, but there are people who do actual art with the calligraphy, make it into like, like say it's like something that's like a little square, make it into like a full block of like art with Arabic letters and stuff. And so it's like something that, yeah, okay, this is an abstract art, or like this is an art made out of, you know, something, make it into something artistic, because it's just, a, it's a, usually in those cases, it's a lot harder to fix. All right. The third case, and 
I mean, third case we're gonna talk about today. And this one is actually, I mean, for me, I think it's been, these are the most fun because they're also kind of the most challenging and also like you can come up with some pretty clever like ways to fix it. When people, they have a word and it's, it's correct, but it's like somebody's name like an ex-boyfriend's name, all right? So for example, say, you know, Malik. Was it like Zayn Malik? Okay, so Malik is a name and it also means like the owner. So Malik is king, but Malik is owner. And Malika is a female owner or something. Oh yeah, the owner. So somebody, so with Malik, I mean, this is just an example. This is not, you know, I, I don't wanna say the actual, you know, I don't wanna give away what the actual tattoo was, but so this is an example. So say the person's name was Malik, what are some things you could do to fix that? And I mean, you could do, and this is okay, just thinking like, in Arabic, we have something called Malik Dakhil. Like Malik Dakhil means it's none of your business. Or you could do like Malik Hayati. But see, if you're a girl and you have Malik Hayati, it's hard to change it to say Malikat Hayati. So, I mean, you, the owner of my life, that's Hayati is my life. So you could say Malik Hayati. But um, you're referring to like, yeah, a guy as the owner of my life. And in that case, if I saw somebody, a girl wearing it with a tattoo that said Malik Hayati, maybe I would think like, oh, are they talking about God or something? Cause it's like, you know, or Malik Hayati, like, you know, the ruler of my life, you know, I don't know. But you could, you could try to change it to Malika Hayati, but when it's a tattoo, it's a lot harder because if you look, and I'll show you, when you end a word with a calf, there's like the little thing and it's a lot harder to make it into, with a tamaguta. So, yeah, but Malik, like I said, Malik Dakhil, that, that means, yeah, it's none of your business. Malik, in that case, it means it's none of yours. So Malik, it's not yours. Malik Dakhil, none of your business. Malik, that's just like one example of, you know, if you have, if the shorter it is, as I said, it's usually the easier to fix. That's actually, I think it's the most interesting challenge. And uh, the best is like, yeah, you're able to, we're able to help you like change it to something that is actually empowering and, you know, yeah, like I said, like empowering, you feel like, you know, you, you don't want to look at it and think of the X. So to be able to change it to something that's positive and meaningful to you is like really rewarding, I think. And it's, it's satisfactory for us as well. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Let me know your comments and questions down below. And again, as I mentioned in my previous video, we offer a translation service through lahajti.com. Uh, usually we turn around within like one or two business days, usually faster than that. Usually within a few hours, we, we come back with the translations. I'll put the link in the video. Well, hopefully you won't have to resort to this. Hopefully you'll have found videos about how to get tattoos that are good or, you know, have using our translation service, you know, finding a way to get a tattoo so that you don't regret it. Like I said, you can't predict the future. You don't know what's going to happen. Maybe at the time it seems like a good idea and then stuff happens. So anyway, please like and subscribe and share this video and I will see you guys next time.